Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach simple inventory management using KFC Chicken Shop. Okay, let me uh, execute the program and check. Okay, so it's very simple. Here there will be the I have uh, here I have include three favors: midweek uh, crunch, uh, crispy chicken, hot deal. Okay, so when the when the customer buy this one two. Crispy chicken one, this one one. Click OK. Yeah. It will be display here. It will be calculate the amount and all. A yeah, final total will be display here. Very simple system. This is very essential thing if you are developing the inventory management system. Okay, let me see how to do this system step by step. Right. Now first, what I am going to do here is uh, I am going to go to go to the file new project Java Java application. Click next. Here I am going to type KFC chicken. Hit finish. Okay, here this is the your uh, folder. Okay, so here expand the source package, select the default package new, JFrame form KFC. You, give, you can give any name. Okay, I, I just give KFC. Okay, this is the our uh, uh, frame here just increase the size of the frame a little bit. Now, first, I'm going to go to go to the label, just drag and drop. Here, this one we have to name it as KFC. You we'll just write like this KFC Chicken Shop. Shop like this. Now, let's select this one right click properties, select here with bold 24. Oh, here for 36. Perfect. Select this one. I am going to properties. I am going to change the foreground color as red. It close. Perfect. Now what I am going to do is see. I am going to drag the uh, labels for so display the image. So drag the label. Right click, select the label, uh, select the label, right click, properties, the icon here, this one, click on this one, import the project, I just give, select this one, hit finish, this same way, oh, click OK, perfect, so perfect, right click, edit text, backslash to remove the extension, select this one, perfect. Okay, now what I am going to do here is, I am going to drag the another stuff as a table. So J table, I am going to drag the J table. So this is a table. You just drag it, drag and drop over here. Okay, now what I am going to do is select this one, properties, sorry, select this one, right click, table content, row, select and delete, select, delete, select, delete, select, delete, model, column, first you have right, the column is item item what other things are there item price quantity total item price quantity total That's it. That's it. Now what I'm going to do here is here I'm going to drag the check boxes one by one. Uh check box. You can choose the check box over here. That's a check uh, check box. The check box. Drag and drop. Right click. Edit text back. We have the name 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 here as just name. I'm going to edit text and right. you just you can type the name here. Edit text. You can type whatever name. I just copy and paste it. If I type, it take too much of time to complete. Properties. We have to with bold 40. I see now. The same thing. I don't need to again 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 give the style instead of that. Copy, 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 paste here and get another copy. Here you easily change the name. 
आपको ये नेम इसका नेम सा क्रिस्पी चिकन क्रिस्पी चिकन ही आपको क्रिस्पी चिकन अब एक नाम कौन से इस वन का नोटिस कॉपी करना भी रिपेयर चाहिए इस वन शुड बी इस वन कंट्रोल सी डी कॉपी ये भी अपने नेम टेस्ट ओके ओके दैस अथिंग दैस अथिंग ये आपको नाउ व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू हियर इज ये आप तो ट्रैक डे टेक्स्ट फील्ड्स तो ये डे टेक्स्ट फील्ड्स ये आप ट्रैक इट एडिट बैक एडिट राइट क्लिक इन एडिट बैक स्पेस तो रिमूव एक्सेसेस सिलेक्ट अगेन प्रॉपर्टीज साइज विथ बोल्ड फोर्टी आई एम गोइंग टू गिव uh here we have a select this one the same name i am going to enter here so this one i am going to name change the name txt and get the name mc mc mean i just give this two names mc this first letter this first letter you can give any name here you can name you can choose any name same thing control c copy control v to paste here get another text field Again, we have changed the name as this one should be there. C C chicken C C. I just give the name. This name and this. Okay, this easy to identify the text box. You can give the name. You can get the copy. This text box. Or T H T. That's it. Now that we have total and all the other set, they say same thing. It's just same thing. Just total and this one. So you have to. Label total. The different properties. Eighteen. You have to select not eighteen. With bold thirty-six. Enough. The same thing. Control C. Copy. Control V. To paste it. This one you have to. Uh, it will be bigger, so this is the final total will be displayed. Uh, you have to select the size is right. Size you have to give as 36. Perfect. Perfect. Now what I am going to do here is all the stuff are done. I am going to drag one button. This button I'm going to name it as OK. Select this one. Properties. Forty. Okay. Perfect. Select this one. Properties. Thirty. Forty-eight. Okay. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do here is uh, select this one. I'm going to change this one as a metal. Go to the source. Control F UI. You have to type U. Sorry. Control F UI. You have to find this a metal. You have to type as metal. Select this one. Properties. Code. Generate center. Click OK. Perfect. OK button. I'm I I'm not going to. I just same code. I just copy and paste it. I have to explain it. Don't worry about that. If I write it, it take too much of time to complete the project. So here we have to paste the code. I haven't given the name of each text field. So C H K. This one should be M C. Name we haven't used. This one C H K C C. If it is a checkbox, you have to type as C H K. Okay, H T hot T. Perfect. Model you have to write here. Model default. Okay, don't get us more. Yes. 
Okay. So here, first what I am going to do is we have to create the model. This model will be integrate uh, interact with the J table. So here we have first we have create a variable sum equals zero. Okay. Here there will be the three different check uh, check boxes. Okay. If you choose this item, this item, or this item, so identify this. Okay. If you choose first item, first check box, which name is CHK, mean this one. Selected the particular will be displayed. Okay, so here first, if you are select this one, here we have to create the variable MC crash. Okay, so here this is the name I am going to include. What is the name you are selected? Here it is assigned this variable. After the price, I am going to assign as this is the price. After the quantity, what's the quantity you are type on this text field? What happens is it will be assigned to the quantity variable. After that, I am going to calculate the price. So in order to calculate the price, price multiplied by total, it will be assigned here. Okay, so all the things are calculated. Now what I'm going to do is here, this one I'm going to display at this table, J table. So what I'm going to do is, I have created already the model, default table model. Model object, get it here and cast it, table get model. So model dot row, we have to add the rows. This rows we have to add the this item. So first variable, first column should be this one. Okay, we have a bunch of rows, one, two, three, four. So first column, the name should be added. Second, the price, current price. Third, of price uh, quantity will be added. After that, price uh, total, total will be price and price into quantity. Total will be displayed here. That's the thing we have to add here. The same thing does here if you are select this one, crispy chicken also same thing. Pot deal also same. All of this not else if, if, all of this. Very simple. The simple code. We only we have to change the text and price only. Other things are also same. Thing. If you have select this one, same thing. At the finally, we have to TXT bill. Same bill, we have to this name should be, we have changed as TXT bill. Okay, we have name it as final total will be displayed in this total, this text uh, label. So what I'm going to see, we have to write the for loop in order to calculate the final total. So you have to create the create the variable in tie. This is the J table get row count me, it's count all the columns. Okay. So plus plus is sum. I already created the sum equals sum integer dot pass table row get get value at 0, 3 mean is 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 mean the J table starting from 0 position, 0, 1, 2, 3 means uh, the the column which called as total. But so how many uh, rows, are, rows are there, it will be calculate this column's total. It gets the total and calculate it. So we have to ask, put it as 3. Okay. We have to convert as 2 string. Get the total, final total. It display where? We display here. What's the name of here? Text bill. So we have to display here. So text bill dot set text. We have to convert into the integer dot 2 string method. And then this sum will be display over here. That's the thing we have done. Okay. We again, we have to execute it. We check. Select this one. This one. This one we have selected. Two, three, four quantity. Click OK here. Let's calculate and display the total. Very simple. I hope you guys you understood the uh, things well. If you have any doubt, you can let me know. No. Thank you for watching.